Hi, I'm Cash. Welcome to Cash Talks Football. Uh, today we're doing another episode of good goal and bad or bad defending. With my 20 plus years of coaching experience all over the world, I'm going to break down so, uh, football and hopefully you can learn a bit or uh, not and use it for your coaching ability or uh, to make fun of your friends down the pub or maybe even to play f the sports ball yourself. I am actually going to comment on the VAR decision at the end of this game. I think I'm going to do more of that this season because, um, yeah, quite frankly, it's dodgy as hell. And if you don't know that the Premier League is fixed, well, I'm going to explain it to you and how they do it. Right, let's go on to this uh, first goal here. Um, what we're going to look at right now is um, their shape. Right now, that's not very good, but it's not bad because you've only got the one runner into that gap there and you've got some potential people to go with him. Okay. Not bad. We'll accept it, but it's not good. And it's a slow jog as well. You can tell the type of pace here. It's not like it's a fast break counter attack. So we're not really worried about that place because their acceleration there, we can probably catch them. It's not like they've got a head start on us. Okay, we can deal with that. Let's watch what happens. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Ball goes here. Right, now here's the point, and this is going to be the coaching point for the, for the session or the, you know, the review, if you like. And this is what you need to remember. This is late on in the game. And if you want to know about why people's legs are tired and how spaces appear, this is how our spaces appeared because everyone's legs are tired and this ball is not pressured anywhere near quick enough. Let's have a little look. As it's gone, dump, one, two, boom, too long. Do you see that? All the time in the world to dink a little pass over to that space that we already popped out earlier. And the space, as you well know, it was back here to start. But as the play moved, the space moved. And now it's there, which has been exploited. And he's dinked the little ball in, and off we go. See what happens next. He's going to lob a ball up, but here's your main problem. If we start trying to play, uh, you know, something fancy, we go one, two, three, four. <laughs> we can actually think that the Man United back four. Oh, wait, they're not the back four. They're attacking. We should have more Wolves players than we do United players in the box. Well, near these ones anyway, and you, you don't. So all of a sudden, United has got a couple of people on the back post here. And if we look, if we actually look at it properly in isolation, where the ball's dropping, it's 3v1. 3v1 on the back post. That's where the ball comes in. Bosh, and in we go. There's all sorts of horrible marking going on here. We've got defenders just getting lost for the plot. People not mark. Like, and this is what generally what happens as, you, uh, as, as the game winds on and you get more and more tired. You stop doing the... Holding your shape, doing the basics. That's the real difference between the top teams and the and the, uh, the lower down teams. When I mean lower down, the mid sort of table teams. The top teams, if they're not holding their shape and doing their job, they will get yanked off that football field because there's someone else there that can do that job. These lower teams, not necessarily, can't really do it. They don't really have the resources to pull those people in. And there we go. Terrible goal, really, to give away. But now we're going to talk about this VAR decision. Let's see, well, lack of VAR decision. Let's see if we can find a clip. Right, here we go. Here comes the ball, smashed in, into the box, bump. Here comes our would-be uh, protagonist, the goalkeepers, coming out. Again, with a similar situation where they've got an overload of uh, two, uh, 3v2 on the back post. Ball comes up, and he just nails the guy. Absolutely nails him. Now, here's the issue. Does he touch the ball? No. Is he close to touching the ball? No. Does he take out the player? Yes. It's a penalty. There is no question. There is no ifs, buts, or ands. That is 100% a penalty. Now, here's the interesting thing. You go, oh, yeah, but... Football's not fixed. Want to bet? Do you remember a couple of seasons ago when United um, had a penalty? The game was over. I think it was against uh, Brighton, actually. And everyone was in the dressing room and they were called back on the field for Man United to have a penalty to score the goal to go forward. Do you remember that? Yeah. Football's dodgy as hell. If you don't think people are spending billions and billions and billions and billions on this game and it's not corrupt... You're joking yourself. You are so naive. I want to give you a nice little cuddle, pack of crayons, and go play with the children in the corner. We know FIFA's corrupt. It doesn't get corrupt from the top down. It gets corrupt from the bottom up. So we know the FA is. We know UEFA is. We know they all are. And that's a classic example right there. First game of the season for Man United at home. Stonewall penalty. Absolutely stonewall penalty. Now, here's the interesting thing. If you watched it live, there wasn't a VAR check. There wasn't a thing. On the actual highlights, they make out that there was. It's wrong again, boys. That's the difference. Watch the game and then watch the highlights. Watch how they try to change the narrative. They did that when United had that uh, penalty and everyone came back on the field. You know, after the uh, the referee blew the full-time whistle. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Never has that ever happened before or will it again. 
when uh, you're cheating people out of points. That could cost Wolves going down, because I think Wolves will go down. I mean, I don't think they're good enough. They've lost too many players, their coach. But they actually looked decent in that game. Um, they, and they did deserve something out of it. But again, the Referees Association cheated them out of it. The FA cheated them out of it. VAR cheated them out of it. And if you don't think the game is corrupt, oh my God, you're so cute and adorable. Uh, I'll see you next time on Cash Talks Football. Thank you.